In this video, we'll talk about rules to master your focus and achieve your goals. In the 21st century, focus is a recipe for success. Do you consider it a bold statement? Of course it is. However, you have to first consider the following. Are you aware that for you to be successful, you need to first understand what success means for you and set your goals accordingly? You need to identify the project that has the biggest impact on your goal in order to achieve these goals. It is common for people to be distracted now because our emails, notifications, etc. are fast distractions. And being distracted will take us some minutes back before we can focus on the task again. As a result, we become busy almost 24-7 and still end up not doing anything tangible. At the end of it all, we end up unsuccessful and stressed. Does this make sense? Now the question, what are the rules you need to know to achieve extraordinary results and master your focus? Your week should be planned according to your top three goals. You may consider taking an hour or two on Sunday, or even on Monday morning to look at the top three goals you would like to achieve, and then plan your week accordingly. When you are planning, ensure it aligns with your long-term vision, which determines your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and ultimately yearly goals. You will avoid getting lost in the busy trap and will be able to make real progress on the projects that are important by intentionally planning time for deep work on your most important goals. Identify your why. At a point in time, a project will eventually get to a point where it will become harder and harder. And at that point, the only thing that can push you through is your motivation and energy. This is the same point where people lose their focus and switch to something else. This is why you need to know your why, for you to keep your eye on the prize and relentlessly focus on your goals. Deep down, you need to know why you are doing it. You need to be able to identify the reason you set the goal in the first place. You also need to be able to foresee how achieving that goal will improve your life. Time block like you mean it. Whenever you have work to do, Schedule it in your calendar like a meeting and treat it like you mean it. If you reschedule it at the last minute because you have something else to do, or even ignore it, you may not be able to achieve your goals. The earlier you take your time blocks seriously, the more significant your progress on your goals will occur. This will also mean that you respect self, your time, and that of everyone around you. Have the strong will to say no. When you focus on one thing, it means you won't be able to focus on something else. There is no way you can stay focused on keeping fit and losing weight, while at the same time partying all weekends with your friends. Doing that will mean that you will ruin all the effort you have invested into losing weight over the week. The same logic applies to your work. There is no way you can focus on everything at once. You have to decide what is important for you and say no to unimportant things. Begin your day with strong intentions. For you to focus, you need to be able to proactively choose what to work on. Going to back-to-back -back meetings or checking your phone first thing in the morning can automatically derail your focus for the day, leaving you busy but not productive. Thus, you need to choose to start the day with an intention by questioning yourself. What would it be if I could only do one thing today to make progress on my goals? The question to your answer is what you should do first thing in the morning. If it won't be possible, block out deep work time during the day and adhere to it. It is worthy of note that making it a rule to keep morning for deep work and leaving email for the afternoon can have a great impact on increasing your focus, and that is if your productive time is morning. One of the four deadly mistakes that ruin your productivity is being reactive instead of proactive and intentional. Create your deep work area. Sitting down to work on your important project and blocking out time is one thing. Working on it is another. There will still be distracting notifications, urgent incoming requests from colleagues, and your ability to focus on your task. You need to consciously engineer your environment in a way that allows you to fully focus to get the most out of your deep work time. This doesn't look the same for everyone. For some, it means going to some place where they focus, such as a library, an empty conference room, a coffee shop, and so on. For other people, it might mean closing their office door, wearing their headphones, or signaling to people that they are in a no distraction mode. And for others, it might be very early in the morning or after the kids are already asleep in the night, keeping distractions out. Try to identify the top five things that keep you distracted when you are trying to work on important tasks. We all have our vices. We therefore have to design a no distraction strategy for ourselves. You may consider these few ideas. If you are always distracted by your boss or colleague, 
you can approach this scenario this way. Have them agree on a no distraction time with you. Encourage them to use coffee breaks and lunch to talk things with you. And agree on which questions are classified urgent. An example is the time someone is entirely blocked to continue with the work that needs urgent attention. Also, agree on the topics to be discussed in your weekly meetings. If you get lost in YouTube binges or distracted by social media, tools like Off Time and Stay Focused can help you limit the time you spend on certain apps or sites. When you feel the urge to usually reply to every mail the moment you see them, you need to schedule a time slot for replying to your emails and systematically work through them all at once. Turn off your email for the rest of the day or install a tool such as IFTTT to send you a mail when you receive an email from your investor, priority clients, or boss, for example. Employ the Pomodoro Technique. This is one of the most powerful techniques that can help you focus on a task at a time. This is how it works. Split your tasks into 25-minute intervals. Then set a timer and shut off all your distractions. Take five minutes to break after your Pomodoro before starting another one. This technique works effectively because of its gamification. There are even apps that can help you using this technique, such as Focus Booster, Focus Keeper. Take care of your body. A pain-ridden, tired, sleep-deprived body is a great recipe for killing your productivity because it leads to an increased level of stress hormones, impaired memory, and decreased mental ability to focus. Therefore, prioritize proper nutrition, exercise, sleep, and off time to recharge your battery if getting stuff done is important to you. Increase your mental focus through mindfulness. Taking care of your body is as important as taking care of your mind because an inspired, focused, and calm mind is the basis for working productively. Calm your monkey mind with journaling, yoga, meditation, and getting out of your head every week by enjoying nature and taking time away from the screen and spending time with your loved ones. Note, being unfocused comes with a price. You need to get clear on what you want and focus your time, attention, and energy if you want to be ultra successful. These rules will help you become more focused in life. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.